Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. In this video, I will make a very simple 3D pipe joint in BricsCAD. So, let's get started. So here we are in the 3D workspace and I'll start by adding the first circle here on XY plane. So I am on the XY plane and from the draw panel, I'll select the circle tool. Now click anywhere in the drawing area and type 5 for the radius and press enter. Now let's go to this area and select this view and here I'm going to now extrude it. So go to extrude, select this one, press enter and add a height of 15 unit and press enter again. Alright, now let's change the view. So here I will select this front view and again I'm going to select circle tool and now in this case I just need to make circle right here but it won't make that circle by default because right now we are in the ZX or XZ plane so we just need to change the plane first. So I'll go to UCS and I'll select current view. Now the current view will become XY and we can now make our circle. So I'll go to circle and I'll select this center and I'll make another circle of radius 5 unit right here. Now we just need to move it exactly at the center. So select the circle, go to move tool, click anywhere, move it down and this distance should be half of 15 so 7.5 and enter. There we are. Once again I'll extrude this. So to extrude this you just need to well revolve it kind of like this so I'll orbit it extrude select the circle enter and now the height here is just 10 units so 10 and enter and we are done now from this visual style this may not look kind of like a pipe so I'm just going to first change its visual style to something which is clearly visible so I'm selecting conceptual now and these two are two different solids so we need to merge it into one so let's go to this union tool on solid editing select them both and press enter now they are merged into one now it's time to create the hollow profile so it is currently solid so I'll go to solid editing right here and select shell using shell tool we can add a hollow profile so select this one and now select the faces which you want to remove so I want to remove the top face this face and this face. Now press enter and add the shell thickness. So the shell thickness will be 0.5 and enter. There we are. Now we have added the shell. Okay now we are ready to make the remaining profiles here. So I'll press escape key and we'll add the top plate here. Now to do that we need to start by adding another circle right here. So I'll ensure that this is our work plane. So I'll go to this coordinates panel and select this UCS face option and I'll select this top face and enter. There we are, we've got this selected. Now let's go to circle, select the center and the first circle will be of radius 4.5. And once again, press enter the same center and this circle will be of radius 7.4. There we are. Now we'll add another circle. So again I'll go to circle and maybe I'll just track this point and I'll make it one right here on this intersection point of radius 0.5. Now we just need to move it outside to a distance of 1.5. So I'll go to move tool and I'll carefully select the circle only. I'll click the center, I'll move it out and the distance in this case should be 1.5. So I'm going to type 1.5 and enter right here. Now we just need to make a polar array. So go to this polar array which is on the modify panel right here. Select this, enter. Select the center and make sure that we have 12 objects here. So I'll go to number of items and I'll make it 12, enter. Also we need to ensure that this array is not associative. So go to this associative option and select no. All right, with that press enter. So we have got all of these separate objects. So if you select associative, these objects are going to remain like a single unit and that we don't want for this because we won't be able to extrude geometries with that associative array. All right, now we no longer need this part of the drawing for now, so we can hide it. So I'm just going to select 
this object and I'll click on this hide entities option okay now we have this clean drawing to work with so here I'll start with this extrude option now I'll just select this plate and press enter and I'll select a height of 0 0.5 that's extruded up all right and here we have all the other geometries now using the push pull tool will create the grooves here so here we have the push pull tool and now I'll select this part of the drawing and also I'll select all these other circles so maybe just to avoid any kind of problem I'll select this one and click all the way up now I'll repeat it again so push pull select this this and all these circles and press enter and move it all the way up and we have got the groove just like this now we can bring back the main pipe so I'll click on this show entities and everything will show up again in the drawing now we just need to move this plate on the bottom side as well so let's go to copy select this object and press enter now using this point the point on the top we have two centers here just select the one on the top move it all the way down and the distance in this case should be 15 and enter so here we are it is now right here all right so that's done now the next thing is this plate on this part of the drawing as well now for that I'll start by resetting my UCS I've made many changes in the UCS and I just want to reset it first so I'll go to coordinates and I'll click on this world UCS icon so that everything is reset back to normal and now I'll make a copy of this one so let's just select this go to copy and now I'm going to just select this one here and I'll just move it right this like this all right so that's done now let's rotate this now before rotating I'll just orbit it kind of like this and I'll select it all and click on manipulate now using this we can move rotate and make manipulations in this one so in this case I just want to rotate this so I'll select it and using this part of the triad I'll just rotate it by an angle of 90 degrees like this and now we can move it exactly where it should be so select move select this one enter now select the center which is inside this and just move close to this and here also when the center highlights just click there we are it will just snap it right in place okay so we've got this thing right where it should be but all of these are again separate units so we just need to merge it all together so again I'll go to solid editing union select it all entirely one once again and press enter and now we have a single unit here finally before we finish this drawing we just need to add some fillets here to decrease the stress concentration of course so I'll just go to fillet and we will select this edge and we are going to select this edge as well this one and this one so we have got four of these edges selected press enter and now the radius which I'll use here is 0 0.3 and press enter again and here we are we have got this tiny fillet added here and in all of these areas as well now if you want to clean this drawing up completely you can also move it so here I'll select move tool and I'll move it somewhere else so that we can see this is sketch and we can also clean it up and there we are this is our final pipe joint in BricsCAD now if you have questions related to this feel free to let me know in the comments area and don't forget to share this video I'll see you soon with another one